Okay, so Sam, what's the best way for a customer to prepare for a window cleaning? Well, they don't have to do too much. We'll handle most of the work. Um, though it would be nice if most of the blinds are up and uh, the windows have access to it. So if they remove all the items off the windowsills. Yeah. Um, what about bigger things like uh, couches and beds? Are you able to work around those? Yeah, we can work around them. Like if it's the windows behind the bed, we'll ask them if we would rather us move the bed or if it's all right to stand on top of it, uh, stuff like that. And then if you raise the blinds, um, do you typically leave them off or would it be up to the customer to ask you to come back down? That's more up to the customer. Typically we'll leave it up, but sometimes we'll ask, see if they'd like it. Okay, so if the customer would like stuff put back or blinds down, they should just let you know or yes. you'd be happy to do it. All right, perfect. And how do you feel about animals? Should they put their animals away? Are you okay with cats and dogs? And um, me personally, I'm okay with cats and dogs. It doesn't bother me. Right. So. Charlie, so what uh, equipment do you use to, to wash windows? So I've got two squeegees here. I've got a 14-inch and an 18-inch, um, different squeegees for different windows. Um, got a mop here, kind of wets the windows, so the squeegee is really easy to use. Um, this copper wool, it takes off a lot of the debris that's just kind of loose on the windows and it agitates it really well. Um, and then I have this blue towel over here for detailing after I wash the windows. And then to finish that off, we've got this scraper right here, um, kind of handles paint and stuff. So when do you typically see paint on the windows? Um, paint's typically on the windows after new constructions and just recently painted houses. Um, typically it's pretty coated on, so that's when we need uh, razors. And that's something that the homeowner should let us know ahead of time, right? Yeah. Because uh, there's typically an extra charge for uh, scraping paint and then a waiver that will need to be signed. Um, but, but we can get that off. Uh, sometimes homeowners have actually billed the painters yep. that extra charge uh, for scraping the paint. Um, so that's always an option. Mm -hmm. but, but if something like that happens where you just got your house painted or reconstruction done, uh, just let us know so that we are prepared when we come. Mm -hmm.